Hey YouTube, it's KG. Welcome to another video. And I just thought I'd update uh what? I just thought I'd update you guys on what's been going on thus far whilst I get my makeup started. So I'm sitting in my car and I'm using my <coughs> rear view to do my makeup. Sitting in my car, as you can tell. Uh the reason I'm doing my makeup in my car is because my friend's dad won't let me in their house. Because you know, that's just how my life is going right now. Uh, this morning, we tried to go to breakfast, but I, you know, it was taking too long. We had places to be. So, like, literally right when they called our name, we were, we, we had to leave because it was time for us to get to where we needed to go. So we didn't get to get breakfast at Cracker Barrel. Instead, we went to the next best thing, McDonald's got my mcdonald's breakfast and you know they used to make scrambled eggs or i guess they do that on a good day today they gave me just these yellow squares they tasted like sponges rather than eggs it was just not i was displeased um so that was oh goodness that was a lovely start to my morning but now i'm getting ready to go to the christmas party with my boyfriend as i mentioned uh, but i can't go into the house with my friend so I have to get ready here because my house is 30 minutes away. I'm not going to drive 30 minutes to my house and then 30 minutes back. For today's vlogging style, I'm doing minimal edits. Um, I found, let me talk about, let me talk about my last two videos just while we're here. I found that my first one was boring. It felt boring while I was editing it. I haven't gone back and reviewed it yet um you know later but as i was editing it it felt boring but you know it was time to upload so i just had to upload a boring video because i'm a good youtuber and then yesterday's quirky style vlog felt just unbelievably unfunny like quirky vlogs the whole thing is that they're funny you know like you laugh at the the fun edits and the, the silliness of the creator Mine was awful. Like, it was just edits tossed on top of my stale, sad personality, and it just wasn't working out at all. So, yeah, um, not really for me. So today we're doing a sort of minimal editing style. Um, Leah Gordon does this a lot. She's fairly... She's... She's decently popular, I guess. I follow her. So, um, Ashley Devana also kind of does this. Where you do a couple jump cuts here and there if you're just absolutely saying nothing. But for the most part, it's just you, and it's raw, and it's supposed to be realistic, get you closer to your uh, viewers, and minimize your editing time. And for someone like me, who does not enjoy editing, that's a good deal. So, we're gonna try this style today. Today we've got the Morphe 35O as my main palette, and this little... Beauty Treats Modern Matte Eyeshadow Palette as my side palette that I got from Five Below. This palette is kicking. Like, I know it's from Five Below, but it is good. And we're going to have a look at my Morphe and try and figure out what colors I want to use. I'm not going to do red because I do red all the time. Ooh, yes. <laughs> yes. We'll go kind of pinkish today. Yes, it's gonna be cute. Okay, get this eyeshadow game going. <clears throat> I have a qu see. I have this pink in the modern mats, but I feel like it's gonna make me ashy. I've never actually used it, and I feel like there's a good reason for that. Mm -hmm. Is this ashy? <laughs> I feel like it absolutely is. How we feel, ashy? Ashtastic, probably. <laughs> Have I applied too much shadow and made my eyes look creasy as crap? You tell me, because I, I think the answer is yes. But I put on too much eyeliner, but I did it on both eyes, so it's almost like it's not too much. You know what I'm saying? I can fix it. No, I can't. But. This block brow I just created, bro. Really thought I was going to do better on the other side. Now I just have two block brows. So that's cool. Oh, by the way, I applied highlighter. And I can't tell if it's bright enough because there's no light in the car. You know, like highlighter, it needs light to bounce off of. 
and I don't have any of that right now, so <coughs> it's going great. I'm going through a lot right now to get a video of this double rainbow, so I, I hope you appreciate it. There's, there's one, and there's two. You feel? You feel? That's what that, that's. My life easy in recording this on my computer, but my computer didn't want to collect any audio, so now I have to do it on my camera and I have to put it on the computer, and it's just going to take a lot of time and I don't have time for that. But, anyways, I just wanted to come forward and leave a little bit more information because this jump that it's about to happen makes no sense. So, as you saw, I did my makeup and then I went and picked up my boyfriend, and as we were driving, we saw the double rainbow, and so I recorded that. But then we actually got to the party, and while it was at the party, I had to use the bathroom, and I decided to record because I thought I looked cute and I wanted you all to see, so I recorded a little bit in the bathroom. And then, and then it was a dinner party, but I didn't want to just record everybody eating dinner because that's just kind of rude and you can't really do that. So I just have like the little, little like two second clip of me showing the table, but my boyfriend was nice to me. The girl next to him was really nice. I really liked her. I mean, I liked everybody at the table, but I think I talked to that girl the most. Other than me, my boyfriend, and that girl, everybody else at the table was drunk. One guy started crying. One guy flipped a chair. <laughs> it was a pretty wild night actually, but I had a lot of fun. And uh, the food was bomb. I was really hungry, so I managed to eat everything, which never happens. They had a bomb salad, and I felt real healthy after eating a salad. Then I had some bread. Then I had my main course. Then I had some more bread. And then I had dessert, and dessert was this little brownie. She was good, okay? So I had a fun time at the dinner party. These bathrooms are actually so nice. And it's really Good morning, YouTube. It is 6 a.m. on Monday, December something or other. I'm about to leave the house. I'm going to a job shadow program today across the state. Um, it's time to leave alarm interrupted my clip but I'm gonna be driving for two hours um I wanted to get chick-fil-a breakfast and coffee but I don't even know if they're open yet I've never woken up this early so I well not since high school at least so I'm really not used to it but I'm not even tired I took NyQuil last night to go to sleep and so my body still feels a little a little bit like I'm on NyQuil <laughs> But my eyes aren't tired, so that's cool. Um, here's my outfit of the day. Business casual. Uh, sorry about this angle. I just need to put on my little cardigan. Okay. Um, I thought that this place was not in the city I'm going to. I thought it was in another city. Um, imagine I'm in New York, right? So there's a company, and the address says... New York. So you think it's in New York City, but it's actually in New York, Long Island. Like, New York is a street, <laughs> and then the city is actually in... is a different city that's very far away, so that's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. So I went and got some Chick-fil-A breakfast, which I'm about to put together. Um, my car is getting gas because my destination is a 97 long hard miles away so i'm gonna need some gasoline um i got a large coffee chick-fil-a you disappoint me in what world is this large what does the medium look like i, I can't with this sounds like my car is done gassing up which was honestly too fast for my liking uh Dunkin donuts large is far larger than this but i didn't want Dunkin donuts because it's just so so sugary and so unhealthy so you know what deal with Chick-fil-A's um, small large for today. We're just, we're just gonna have to go with it. I got my biscuit so I'm just gonna be happy. Let me go get the gas pump because it's done. Well I've arrived I think but I can't really find what I'm looking for. Like I'm at a place where it's a building that has a bunch of businesses in it but on this on the sign outside it doesn't advertise where I'm supposed to be. 
I feel like I'm in the wrong place, but I'm not. According to Google, I'm the right place. But Google, she, she can mess up sometimes. So I'm not entirely sure I'm in the right place. I spent a majority of my ride wondering where the sun was, but she has finally joined us. So I'm just, I have 15 minutes to figure this out. So I'm going to just try and, I guess I can call and <laughs> figure out where it is. All right, well, the only suite that's open for this building is, sorry for the lighting and the angle. I'm trying to unlock my car. The only suite that's open for this building is a massage place. And I went in there and asked, and she said she, that it might be around back what I'm looking for. So I ran around back. It doesn't seem to be here. Everything is close. But the company that I'm going to opens at the time they told me to be there. I called and nobody picked up. And I guess it's because they're not open yet. So I guess I'm just going to chill here <laughs> until they answer my call and then I can figure out where to go. <laughs> I love being late because I'm lost. We did a staff meeting and I got this piece of paper. Real professional. We did a staff meeting. Lunch is about to get here and I'm hungry. I was tired, but I had two cups of coffee. Now I'm just hungry. But the Pizza Hut car just pulled up, so I'm ready. Hello, I'm back and at a new angle. Let me know if you guys like this like crudely drawn border that I got going on here. I crudely drew it because I thought it was cute and I was like, it's just a quick little editing thing, so it doesn't even count. So I can just do it ugly. But if you want to see it like real professional looking real nice you let me know and i will just redo that for you guys but anyways i just wanted to th throw in a quick review of my job shadow experience because uh, i didn't get to film much while i was doing it because i feel like i can't so um the first job shadow that i did was the one that you guys saw today in this clip and it was at a black owned business so it was nice to be surrounded by other black folk there was one white lady there and she wanted it and like everybody was really nice but, you know, it's nice to see black people thriving and doing something. Uh, they seem to have a profitable business. It was really interesting to learn, like, about what kind of business they had, because I didn't know such a thing existed. But I didn't learn too much of this job shadow. We mostly just sat around and talked. But these people were so fun, so funny. And this one guy there had some sprints just to say that I didn't mind not really doing much. And then I did a second job shadow that I'll talk about really, like, at the end of the video. But I did a second job shadow at another place. It's a nonprofit that teaches French and tries to bring French communities like, you know, Haiti, Quebec, Senegal, France, French communities together and teach people about French culture. So it was really cool at that place. I actually learned a lot more about um, nonprofits, about marketing for a nonprofit, their whole scheme. The employees were really nice. I got a really tasty sandwich. They might have low-key offered me an internship. I don't know about that, but they were, like, leading in that direction, so. <laughs> and then <laughs> I did um, sit in on a French class, and it was supposed to be, like, a higher, in, um, intermediate to advanced level class, like, it was kind of a higher level class, but I sort of understood what was going on, like, it was a conversation class, and as people were talking, I could not respond, because I just can't, I don't know enough words to form a sentence, but I know enough words to hear the majority of a sentence, to the point where I can understand what you're saying, so I was actually able to understand a good decent bit of French so I'm feeling good about myself in that regard so I enjoy my job shadows 10 out of 10 would recommend and I think I'm gonna do it again next semester I left took a 20 minute nap I'm still quite visibly very tired I'm about to go see my old house it's only eight minutes away from here so that's exciting and then I'm gonna go to the place that I think is my old daycare and then I'm headed home so let's go check out my old humble abode. I'm here. There was a woman um, standing outside near like my actual old house. So she freaked me out and I kind of walked away a bit. But I'm near the house. I'm seeing the old cul-de-sac I used to play in. I don't recognize it. It doesn't look like what I remember. But I was four. So my memories were not really the, the best. Like not the most intact. There is this hill here. In my head when I was four, this was the steepest hill in the world. Riding my bike down it was a roller coaster. In reality, no. Okay, that woman finally left. Here it is. My old house with a new car. They have a Christmas deer over there that you can't really see, but it's my old house. I don't recognize it. <laughs> but it's just cute to be here. Um, I am going to go look at the elementary, not elementary, the preschool that I used to go to. 
Oh, look, there's these tall trees by my house. I think I recognize them. But maybe I'm just crazy. I think I recognize these trees. So I'm gonna go and look at... The UPS is coming. I'm gonna go and look at the preschool. Hopefully I recognize that. However, from the pictures on Google Maps, it does not look like what I remember. But we're gonna go have a look anyways. There it is. And I thought I'd get a video of me leaving because I low-key do... I don't know if I remember the neighborhood, but it looks very nice. It looks very nice. And I'd like to have a remembrance of it. So we'll have a look-see through the neighborhood. Figure it out together. But look at this. Look at these houses. Like, aren't they nice? They've got their cute little back wall hoop. I feel like I recognize these houses, but like the style of house, I mean. I feel like I recognize that. But again, that might just be extrapolating data in my brain to make this, you know, cuter than it actually is. But here's one thing I really do actually think I remember. There was a road closure that caused me some trouble. <clears throat> just, just stepped into some mud. Freaking yippity ki -yay. I'm gonna move my car, but we did make it to my old preschool. Let me move my car to a place where I can get out of it. You guys, it's shaped like a boat. I don't have my keys. Always leave the car with your keys. Okay, it's shaped like a boat. And there is a moat out front. I remembered it being shaped like a boat, and I remembered a moat out front, but I thought maybe my little four-year-old mind was extrapolating that. But look, the sides of the building are cut like a boat. <laughs> we gotta look. Open. Probably not. It's Sunday. But I wonder if they'll let me like look at the playground. Look at this. There's a little moat that wasn't part of my school. Look at the little waterfall, bro. I don't see any fish, though. I remember there used to be koi fish. I remember once I tried to jump over the fence. Like, we were walking inside, and I looked over the fence, and I was like, there's fish in there, and I tried to jump in. I couldn't, because I was four, and the fence is pretty tall. But I really wanted to. I would have been excited, too. No fish on this side, either. Maybe there were never fish. Maybe I just made that up. But uh, it's definitely got this fun waterfall feature. And there is definitely a moat outside the front. Let me show you from afar so y'all can see that this school is shaped like a boat. Okay, this is as far as I'm willing to get because I just climbed up the full hill. But look! It's Noah's Ark! But it's a preschool! Really? That would be cool. Guys, they let me in. They let me in. It's so cool. I'm excited because I actually remember this. Like, I didn't remember my house. I remember this school, bro. Look. This is Tiger Room. I was in Hippo. <laughs> Stairs. And I met uh, my, the new Hippo class. I feel like they're about to go outside. I'm trying to find the playground. Oh, it's out back. For some reason, I remember the playground being on the boat, but it's back here. And I, I'm going to just stick on my wall. I want to show you all the playground. But, um, yeah, I saw a new class getting ready to go outside. The teacher was putting their jackets on. I didn't take any videos because that's people's kids, and I don't want to just snatch people's kids up into my video, but it's really cute coming here. I really enjoy this. This playground moment. Oh, that's why. There's like a steps leading down. That's probably why I felt like the playground was attached to the boat. But this is really cute and I'm happy I came here. I almost did it because of that road closure. I was in some trouble. I was really about to just turn around and forget it, but I'm so happy I came. I made it home and I'm tired, but I'm going to try to not go to sleep because I have to be up early tomorrow for another job shadow. Not 530, but early still. <laughs> so I'm going to try and not go to sleep so I can sleep tonight. I'm going to edit this video and I, I don't know what to title it because for Vlogmas, I was planning to skip Saturdays, but I forgot to include that in, like, my count, so I didn't upload on Saturday. I don't even think I uploaded yesterday. Sunday. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I should skip numbers, or... We're gonna see what I figure out. This video will be titled something. Maybe I'll just ditch, like, counting the days, and I'll just call it Vlogmas. Yeah, because my Vlogmas is already a mess, and I've only been at it for, like, 12 seconds, so... That, yeah, 
we're just not even gonna. This is my first year doing this. I, you should have expected nothing less. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I was about to turn the camera off without actually saying goodbye. I'll see you guys next time, and until then, toodaloo.